So here is the, in all likelihood, future UFC Hall of Famer and former champion Glover Teixeira. Just an incredible career that he was able to capstone with a world title, and that was something that the entire sport was able to celebrate with him. Everyone celebrated with Glover. Not many times will you experience glee across the board. Right. Everyone was happy for him because the guy found the fountain of youth and fought at the highest level for longer than most could ever have expected him to. Time and time again, he rebuilt himself, and that comes from his spirit. That championship spirit guided Glover to a Hall of Fame career. And don't doubt him in this spot here tonight, right? Age is just a number. Teixeira back on the proving ground here tonight. Glover Teixeira has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion, and man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky, and that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. All right, with that, the wait for live action ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are ready and raring to go here at United Center in Chicago. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Lover Teixeira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Glover Teixeira, and what an amazing career resurgence it has been. But he doesn't want to hear about that tonight. He is focused on this particular matchup, and he believes whether it is a knockout or a submission, judges' scorecards are not going to be needed in this one. Overhand attempt now is blocked by Short. This is so important for Glover. He's so big and heavy from the top. He has fantastic mixed martial arts grappling. Let's go. We got a scramble here. The Korean Superboy get peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, and transitions right into side control. Ooh, Teixeira is back in full mount. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Teixeira is going for a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum pulled back towards the point back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest 
is down towards the mat. Hey, you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. Uh -huh. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh! He's in trouble. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Lands a nice straight. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Tashira gets hit with that overhand. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, he, oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Throwing that jab, no good. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Punch over the top. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice. Nicely done. Mixing up the target, attacking the body. Oh, there's that patented right hand from Glover to share a DC. Not a guy that you faced at 205 pounds. Certainly, though, a guy that was on your radar, and rightfully so. Takedown defense holds up. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Oh, that's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, round two. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Takedown defense holds up. Now they separate. Boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Unable to land with that punch.
man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening, and everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had that in his opponent's mug all night long. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Nice combination by the champ. To share against the double leg takedown. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Choi. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Teixeira. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Glover's into the mount here. This is a terrible position. Just over three minutes to go. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Glover Teixeira. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Choi's in half guard. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing at the top of a point like that. You gotta watch up kicks. Notice how he leaves with his hip when he goes to land the strike. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Holy somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. This is where he wants to be. Good fight here, under two to go. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Good work from the top here by Teixeira. He's got that arm triangle, watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. And that is oh, oh, my goodness! How about it? What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch. And it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Wilbur Teixeira. So how about it, there is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion, and he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight, he submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world.